So for today, we're going to be looking at the solar inspired armor. If the chest piece finally dropped, which was the last piece that we needed. And I'm going to be real with you guys. I think every class got really strong pieces. Obviously, there's pieces that are pretty weak. But as a whole, I think we got more more good than bad. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, uh, help my analytics by subscribing, liking the video and whatnot, it'd be very much appreciated. But other than that, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the Hunter. Obviously, I think the Hunter has a lot of good pieces to it. Specifically, I think the helmet, the chest piece, the boots, and even the cloak is really good. I think the arm is the best. The worst piece, I think, from all of the solar pieces, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, for the helmet, let's look at the helmet real quick. I think the helmet is really, really good. Let me actually switch out so you guys can see the actual helmet. But I actually do like the helmet. You can definitely use this without a hood, and it's going to look good. It doesn't have that awkward, like, nothing. Like, there's hel certain helmets that just have nothing in the back. And this one doesn't have it. It looks like just a full on helmet that you can combine with pretty much anything, which is why I say you can use this without a hood because it looks really good compared to like something like this, where the main thing is the mask. And then in the back, it's just very boring. So that's what I specifically mean that this is very usable even without a hood. The arms, on the other hand, are the weakest portion of the whole thing, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, it's the fact that not only is the arm on this side very bulky but the other side just has nothing to it it's the asymmetry that really bugs me if if you're new to my channel you guys will know that asymmetry really really bugs me and the other problem is that the right side is very heavy with detail and the left side is not so on top of the asymmetry it's the fact that the one side is a lot heavier than the other and what i mean by that is you have the arm the, the whole armor is on the arm and then you have the gun over here with more armor compared to here where it's plain plain so that's another problem i think it would have been better if the armor would have been on the other side of the arm or honestly just completely not use this weird like the design of this part of the arm is fucking terrible if, if i'm being quite honest just make normal gauntlets and give us shoulder shoulder pieces that look like this on both sides that are f on fire i think that would have been fine and then maybe add a knife on the like on the back right here that would have been fine as well because obviously solar is heavy with knives as well so i'm personally just not a big fan of the arms and i will never use them but i specifically picked them up so i can talk shit about them in this video <laughs> as for the chest piece i actually think the chest piece is very usable the only negative and this is going to be a negative for all of the armor pieces is the fact that the solar like fire will never change so obviously you're just gonna have to work around that if you have a solar inspired armor set like the example set that i'll show you guys in a bit then it shouldn't be too much of a problem because you're just gonna lean into it but if you're trying to use this with other sets specifically like other subclasses then it's gonna be kind of weird unless you really lean into it uh, but yeah, I think the chest piece is very usable. Uh, I'll show you guys how it shaders at the end. So that way you guys can see the whole thing. But I really, really like the chest piece. Boots is my favorite piece from the whole set. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the boots has the most stain power for me because of the golden gun. The golden gun is really good for a very solar look. Again, I'll show you in the example set because I think the example set came fucking fantastic and the golden gun just really cements the whole i'm a solar guardian i'm gonna kill someone with this golden gun the cloak i actually think is not as weak as the arm but it's definitely not the best from the whole set i i think it's probably above the arms but below everything else so i don't think it's bad by all means i think it's actually pretty cool it's just it kind of looks boring i also don't like the this right here i also don't like this uh just because it's it looks like a poor it looks like a poor man's version of the near terra which that's kind of like the whole reason why i don't like it like just lean into the cloth more and i would have been fine with it be yeah that's pretty much it for 
for this whole set. As for how it shaders, like I said, it actually shaders really well. It's pretty good. The only unfortunate part is that every fire that you see will not change color. So let's actually get a shader that has no red in it, like this one. As you guys can see, the fire just won't change color. Fire here, fire here, fire on the boots, and then everything. Like even the slits in the eyes don't change color. So just be aware that you're gonna have to like MacGyver your way to make something look cool. Specifically, if you're looking for a shader that looks good and has orange in it, Carmenica is the easiest one I can tell you. Carmenica has an orange glow. If you guys do not know, let me show you guys real quick. Um, oh, this one. So as you guys can see, it has an orange glow. So if you wanna have a, a shader that actually goes with it, this is gonna be your best bet. I also like that the cloth has like kind of like this burnt look to it and red obviously goes with with solar and as for my example set this is something i made uh i think i i showcased this a video in a video yeah i did actually i showcased this in the new exotics video that i posted uh, i'll have it right now if you guys want to watch that video because i literally showcased uh the new exotics this season but this is one that i made a while ago and this is actually the fashion that i ended up finishing the whole season with because i think it looks really cool so for the helmet we're using the virtuous helm because it's one of my favorite helmets the slits in the eyes really really make it look super cool the arms obviously we're using caliban's hand because that's what this season's flavor was for the chest piece we're using the Imperian cartographer this one you can easily switch out the new chest piece with because it looks really cool with it although just be aware that for me i probably will switch out the boots because again i don't like having well, there's two reasons. I don't like having the same piece of the same set in one set. And then I think if you wear boots and the chest piece for Titan and Hunter, then at that point you're wearing a whole set with different arms and a helmet. So that's just me being like dumb, but that's, that's more of a personal rule for me that I set for myself and not something I judge other people for doing. For the boots, we're using the Sun Apex, right? Specifically because I love that the arms have knives and then you still have the gun down there. So this is like heavy solar. And then for the cloak, we have the solstice cloak. So my only issue with this is the fact that the back has this really big blue. It's very um, jarring because like everything else is black and red. And then you go in the bag and just like this baby blue. It's just, it's annoying. And I wish they had like not done that, but I mean, this 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 ornament's oldest dicks so it's never gonna change so let me know hunters what you guys think in the comments below i really like this set i think it's one of my favorite sets i think it's even better than the void set i think the void set i i was so disappointed with the void set but this one way better uh next up is the titans as for the titans i think you guys got a lot of strong pieces as well again a lot of a lot of the classes got really good pieces and it's wild to me because again i think the void Armor sets had so many pieces where I was like, I'm never going to use this. I'm never going to use this. And this one, Titans, honestly, I think have the best armor set. So helmet, very knightly, very good. The only issue is, again, that a lot of the fire that you see in this set will not change color. But I don't even think that's a big issue because I would definitely be using this with a lot of fire themed sets. Uh, but I would I'd be lying if I said I would I would like like. I would want them to be able to change color. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, for the helmet, again, a knightly look is super cool. I really like it. I think the only thing I don't like is the fire tail up here. I think it would have been better if they had probably put it a little bit more on the back or maybe have like behind right here have fire coming out because I feel like this just not, I'm personally not the biggest fan of it. The arms. I think the arms are probably the strongest piece for myself personally. I just love how they look. I love the fact that, see, this is what the hunters should have gotten. Just pauldrons that look like this. And then maybe some at the bottom with the, with the layering armor at the bottom like that, that would have been really cool. But I mean, how's it feel living my dream Titans? Honestly, uh, I think the, the piece that I really just like is the fact that the layered armor just looks really cool with the fire underneath as well. Uh, the forearms are probably the most boring piece from the whole set, but even then, it, if they had wanted to like actually fix it, it's not even that big a deal. They could just put fire underneath here. It's really not that big a deal. 
chest piece i think is the most boring piece from the whole set if i'm being quite honest i think the hammer is pretty cool um but other than that it's, yeah it's kind of basic like not gonna lie to you guys the boots on the other hand i think is as strong as the arms personally i think the the arms and the boots are so fucking cool and the really cool thing about the boots is the fact that you can actually use this set for a very slim armor look which is really cool uh i think for the examples that I was, i'm using the arms but the boots i also use for other things as well i also love that almost all the classes have the soles of the feet or the boots fire i think that's super cool i love it and yeah overall i think the boots are really cool last but not least we have this mark which eerily looks like the fucking void one for some reason at least in my head it kind of reminds me of it um i think it looks cool i think i think the fire underneath the belt is cool uh i think it would have been cooler if instead of gold right here we had fire like actually in the cloth or maybe i don't know i think it's just it it's way better than the void one but it is kind of basic just a little bit but very usable as well as for how it shaders again it shaders really well it's just the only unfortunate part is that the solar color will never change color so just be aware that you're gonna have to work around it again a really good shader for this is carminica because carminica has an orange glow another shader that actually goes really well that i just remembered is refurbished black armory because it does give it the armor like this like cool gray tinge but it also leaves the glow for a red if i remember correctly so let's actually yeah so it does leave an, a, a red color which is really cool and it's actually the example set if i remember correctly i'm trying to see if i can find a better i mean yeah as you guys can see it does leave an, a red look to it so just be aware of that as for the example set again refurbished black armory that's literally the one i was using uh for this one i made for the uh lorelei splendor helm video which i'll post right now if you guys want to see it i made three looks for it if i remember correctly and this is one of them it's one of my favorite looks that i made because everything melts together for the helmet obviously we're using lorelei splendor the really cool thing is again like i said the refurbished uh, the refurbished black armory shader is giving that red tinge it's not just lorelei because again Lorelei actually does change color depending on what you're using. You can also use Argent Torrent. It does give off a really good red. And actually, let's see actually how this looks. That actually looks really fucking cool. I actually would recommend this. I probably will change the shader right now or after the video. But this is the one I have currently because I really do like this. It kind of looks like a statue almost, which is why I gravitated towards it. Uh, for the chest piece, we're using the Solstice Plate Majestic because... Uh, has fire in it it's really that simple same thing for the solstice greaves it has fire in it and then for the mark we're using the tusk allegiance mark this mark i've fallen in love with heavily because it just looks so good and i'm happy that uh, i'm using a lot more because it just looks really cool uh i'm just gonna just gonna switch it because that shader looks, it looks way better with this one so yeah titans let me know what you guys think which piece are you going to be using again for me personally the arms the boots and the helmet even i'm going to be using a lot in different situations and the chest piece and the mark i'm probably going to ignore a little bit here and there but yeah let me know what you guys think as for the warlocks i think you guys got a little a lot of good pieces as well for the helmet i actually really really like it a lot it's really really cool my only gripe with it is it's the reverse for the titan situation where the titans was a little bit forward on the helmet I don't like that the the fire pillar is on the back it looks kind of weird if i'm being quite honest i i also don't think they needed a fire pillar i think how it looks right now is cool but if they wanted some pillars i think the slits on right here could have had fire coming out i think that would have been way better than this wiener fire thing it just looks weird to me for the arms the worst piece from the whole set i'm gonna be real honest with you guys i think it's terrible um it's 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 partially here this is kind of terrible it's partially here as well i think it would have been better if some of the armor here would have been right here and then each finger had like fire coming out i think that would have been a lot better because as 
as it looks right now, it just kind of looks like you kind of look like one of those emo kids that had like a slit in the in the sleeve so that way they could put their thumb in there. It kind of looks like that, and I hate that. Uh, for the chess piece, easily one of the best pieces from the whole set. I think the chess piece makes the whole set even better, and the chess piece is legitimately the best piece from the whole set. You 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 are wrong if you you're gonna fight me on this. Uh, for the boots, I think it's the second best for sure. Uh, it is a little basic, but I think it's cool enough that it it's way better than the arms. The arms is basic and it also just looks terrible. But for me, the boots have this really cool thing. Actually, let me switch the chest piece so I can show you guys what I actually mean. So let's do this one. Yeah. So what I really like is the fact that you can actually see the cup right here or the cuff, whatever, of the fire going down. It also it feels like it's a stop from the whole set because some some warlock boots just look like they're just one big onesie but the cuff right here really makes it look like oh this is this is not part of this this is separate which is what i like uh i also like the fact that the soul is on fire as well if i were to have like a few complaints it would probably be that the top of this is kind of boring I think it would have been better if the like lining right here would have been on fire as well. Maybe some more fire on the thighs would have been better. But overall, I think this is way better than the arms for sure. I think the arms are terrible, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Now we get to the truly terrible piece from the whole set, personally. I'm not the biggest fan of the firearm, uh, although I am a big fan of the void one because it's a lot more noticeable. The fire one is you gotta you gotta squint sometimes to see it. So I think personally, I just think the the bond shape should have just been a little bit better and a little bit more noticeable. And the fact that the fire is not like super crazy because the reason I like the void one so much is because it's slow and it looks like tendrils. It looks really cool. The fire one I think should have been like the opposite. It should have been like fast and a lot more colorful and brighter and almost have no form to it because it's fire this this has like this weird like v shape on the top and bottom and i just personally don't fuck with it that's really it as for the example set you guys will see another shader that actually goes well with orange which is the gambit siladin which is a shader from oh man i don't even remember when the shader came out from season of the undying one of my favorite shaders to combine with red because the glow is actually red. So for the helmet, we're using the Cel Celestine hood, one of my favorite hoods in the game, which I technically should veto this shit from myself, but it's so good that I don't care about that. For the arms, we're using the sun bracers because I wanted fire on this. Obviously it's solar inspired, so I wanted to use the base look of it because I also want to retain the orange. For the chest piece, obviously we're using the Dawn Singer. It looks so fucking good. Why would I not be using this chest piece? For the boots, we're using the virtuous boots because of the glow. Obviously, I wanted to showcase that the this shader actually has a really good shade or a glow with it. And then for the bond, we're using the streets color bond specifically because of the orange. So, if you guys want to go all in with the orange with the glow, you can also just add another stuff like another thing like this one. I think this one would actually look better because of the orange glow. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like. This set, I think it's super cool. I think the Hunter and Titan are really cool as well. I think the Hunter probably is my favorite, even though the Titan is probably my favorite. I don't know, it's between the Hunter and Titan because I actually use those two builds a lot. Like the Lorelei Splendor Helm, I use that a lot for PvE. And the same thing for the, the Caliban's Hand, I use that a lot for PvE. Not saying I don't use the the sun bracers it's just that the sun bracers are not as good as those two uh, the other ones that i mentioned so let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys like the armor sets do you guys agree with some of the the things i said let me know in the comments below i'm really happy with this armor set i cannot wait to see the arc armor because i hope to god we get something really good as well because i'm not gonna lie to you guys i do think that the void is still the weakest set from the whole from the whole uh sets but that could completely change if arc armor is terrible. So 
I will have arc videos coming up this week. Uh, the Hunter one is almost done. And the Titan and Warlock are going to be super fast because I think they only have like two or three exotics that are specifically arc. So be safe and I'll see you guys later.